Gentlemen, welcome to Friendship Shaving. It's good to be back for the first shave of 2024. Today I'm going to be using a Gillette Executive Adjustable Razor. And uh, to go with that, I've got a new Euromax Platinum coated blade let me show you what they look like there we go and I'm going to use my smoke brush there we are with the clear acrylic base got my soap lathered up and today I'm using one of Sean's samples and it is woodland frost from Shannon's soap and I've lathered that up in my Perrieras shaving bowl and uh, let's get some of this on my face and start this shave. I hope you're keeping well guys. Hope you've had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Welcome to 2024. So the brush I'm using today is a boar bristle brush and it stole all the soap initially from the bowl but gradually as I added water it started to lather up. Now the soap is a Shannon soap as I've said, Woodland Frost. I chose this because the name suggested to me that it might be like a walk in the woods in the winter and um, it's kind of not really <laughs> I've got to say it's not a scent that I particularly am fond of it uh, its scent notes are cedarwood frankincense menthol and vanilla mint and that is a vanilla with um, peppermint spearmint and menthol so initially when I put it in the bowl it smells very strongly of cedar wood and um, I must admit I'm not keen on the cedar wood scent as I've lathered up the soap it's actually smelling quite nice now it's smelling um, smelling the frankincense a little bit more and definitely the mint is coming through and as I'm putting it on my face I'm definitely getting that menthol and minty feeling see if we can get a little more soap from my bowl just to add that One of the reasons I remain unconvinced about my boar bristle brushes and this one is quite well used now is the boar's ability to just steal the soap out of nowhere. Um, never seem to get quite the ladder that I expect with a ball bristle brush. Now that could be just me or that could be just a feature of ball bristles. They do require a bit of soaking before use but we've got enough lather to shave with so we're good to go. We'll just open the razor there. Beautiful razor. Absolutely stunning. And we will pop in our Euromax blade. I have been shaving with this razor over the holidays. I've tried it with a Persona Israeli Blue and also a Persona Platinum. And I have to say neither of those were particularly smooth with this razor on the first pass on setting 6. So we'll Put it to setting six today and hopefully 
will have a little bit more of a smooth experience on that first pass. Now gentlemen, this riser came out in 1958 and it is dated D3. Put out for the holidays in 1958. Now that is smooth with the Euromax blade. It just goes to show whichever razor you have, it will suit some razor blades better than others. Beautiful now. So 1958, just imagine gentlemen, if you will, that you're in America, you live in America, and the year is 1958, You've received your new razor for Christmas. And perhaps this is your first shave with the razor that you got for Christmas. And uh, back in 1958, on the 19th of December, you would have listened to Dwight Eisenhower's Christmas speech, which was beamed directly from space uh, from the first communication satellite ever to be put into space. Now, I find that to be an incredible thing. And uh, not so long down the line. Look at what we've got in space now and the technology we've got now. But I'm using somebody's razor from that time, 1958. And perhaps the person that first owned this would have listened to the President's Christmas message will maybe be thinking about that during their first shave with the razor. I love stuff like that guys, as you know. This is a very special razor. It would have cost five American dollars when it was brand new in 1958. Um, and it would have come in the modern upright plastic case. <laughs> and that was a great shave with the Eurostar blades. Did I say Eurostar? Quality product of Eurostar. But it's a Euro Max blade. Very nice razor blades. Can I see where they're from? Made in India. There we go. Another very nice blade from India. They do some good blades in India. It certainly works in this one. Much better than the Personas I've tried. haven't got well I'm getting a waft of cedar there 
Oh, very definitely, yes. Yeah, I don't like cedar wood as a scent. I'm not uh, a woodsy type of guy, even though my father was. So there we go. I thought during this upcoming year I would have a review, firstly, of the shaving bowls that I have in the den. Now I don't have a very large quantity. Uh, I have five and three of those are from the Byron Shaving Company. But I thought I would have a proper review of all of them. So, be doing that in this new year and generally. I'm going to be keeping my eyes open for different bowls to try. Um, I've seen a few that I like, I've seen quite a lot, uh, especially on things like Amazon that I don't like the look of and I don't actually think they would be any good for shaving. But maybe I'll get one of those and we'll investigate during this year. you what type of a bowl that I like, what suits me, etc, etc. Give you perhaps some idea of some different bowls. To use as a shaving bowl or a lather bowl, because I believe they are different things. Anyway, plenty of time to discuss those. Now I'm just going to try and get the very last bit of soap out of my bowl there. ended up with enough soap for a three pass shave, certainly enough for that, but that's about it. My bowl is just about empty. And now I've tried those two passes on setting six, going to pop the razor on to setting five now. This uh, extra quarter turn works perfectly on this. And you can see on this early um, Gold Fat Boy is the nickname of this razor, but it, when it came out, it was just called the Gillette Executive Adjustable Razor. Um, but you can see it has a matching black band there, matches the numbers. Uh, and on later models, that disappears. I do enjoy all of my Gillette adjustable razors. I mean, I just don't think you can beat them. Personally, 
I think they're really, really great. And this riser, well, this will go on for another hundred years, perhaps in perhaps in a hundred years' time. Whoever owns it then will have it replated once again and it will be good to go for another hundred years. Um, they're really well made. Very smooth with this blade, I love it. There we are. A special razor for a special first shave of the new year. Whoa! We won't be doing that again! <laughs> Oh my god, be calm, be calm. The surface that I've got down here has dimples on it. <laughs> and we may be changing it very soon. Now guys, I've got, oh, I've had a fantastic shave. That's that is fantastic. Now guys I've got um, a little bit of something new. It's uh, an Avon Care for Men and this one is the Essential Hydra Gel and it says it acts as a pre-shave, an aftershave and a moisturiser so three in one. I actually quite like this. I did also get these were gifts from my mother. Um, got an essential aftershave balm and moisturiser. And this one is their active terminology. It does have a scent that I'm not so keen on. It smells a bit generic and very like any other active aftershave balm you might get in a tube so not keen on that one this one doesn't smell like it. it's a little bit thicker than the uh, essential just that's the two in one the aftershave balm and the moisturizer but it's still quite a thin product I think this 50 ml tub which was just a few pound will last a while um, the reason I like this, it feels good on the skin and it's got a lovely bit of menthol in it. And um, yeah, it just feels really nice and the menthol kicks in, which is a little bit numbing. So, you know, if you do get, you know, have a propensity for a bit of razor burn, get something with menthol in. And keep applying it while you've got the razor burn. Now that gentleman is my shave for today. Thank you very much for being a part of it and I shall see you next week for another shave and we'll get off on this new year. So I've had a good start I feel. Be well guys, look after yourselves. Please subscribe if you haven't, that will really help me out. I'll see you soon fellas, bye bye now.